Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 28. And it shall be if you diligently obey the voice of Yah your Elohim to guard to do all his commands which I command you today, that Yah your Elohim shall set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of Yah your Elohim. Blessed are you in the city, and blessed are you in the field. Blessed is the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your livestock, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Blessed is your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed are you when you come in, and blessed are you when you go out. Yah causes your enemies who rise against you to be smitten before your face. They come out against you one way, and flee before you seven ways. Yah commands the blessing on you in your storehouses, and in all to which you set your hand, and shall bless you in the land which Yah your Elohim is giving you. Yah does establish you as a set-apart people to himself, as he has sworn to you, if you guard the commands of Yah your Elohim and walk in his ways. And all peoples of the earth shall see that the name of Yah is called upon you, and they shall be afraid of you. And Yah shall make you to have plenty of what is good, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground, in the land which Yah swore to your fathers to give you. Yah opens to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. And you shall lend to many nations, but you do not borrow. And Yah shall make you the head and not the tail, and you shall be only on top and not be beneath, if you obey the commands of Yah your Elohim, which I command you today to guard and do. And do not turn aside from any of the words which I am commanding you today, right or left, to go after other mighty ones to serve them. And it shall be, if you do not obey the voice of Yah your Elohim, to guard to do all his commands and his laws, which I command you today, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed are you in the city, and cursed are you in the field. Cursed is your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed is the fruit of your body and the fruit of your hand, and the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flocks. Cursed are you when you come in, and cursed are you when you go out. Yah sends on you the curse, the confusion, and the rebuke in all that you set your hand to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the evil of your doings by which you have forsaken me. Yah makes the plague cling to you until he has consumed you from the land which you are going to possess. Yah strikes you with wasting disease and with inflammation and with burning and with extreme heat and with the sword and with the blight and with mildew and they shall pursue you until you perish and your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze and the earth which is unto you iron yah makes the rain of your land powder and dust from the heavens it comes down on you until you are destroyed yah causes you to be defeated before your enemies you go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and you shall become a horror to all the rains of the earth and your carcasses shall be food for all the birds of the heavens and the beasts of the earth, with no one to frighten them away. Yah shall strike you with the boils of Mitzrayim, with tumors, with the scab, and with the itch, from which you are unable to be healed. Yah shall strike you with madness and blindness and bewilderment of heart, and you shall be groping at noon as a blind man gropes in darkness, and not prosper in your ways, and you shall only... You shall be only oppressed and plundered all the days with no one to save you. You become enraged to a wife, but another man does lie engaged to a wife, but another man does lie with her. You build a house, but do not dwell in it. You plant a vineyard, but do not use its fruit. Your ox is slaughtered before your eyes, but you do not eat of it. Your donkey is violently taken from before you, and it is not given back to you. Your sheep are given to your enemies with no one to save them. Your sons and your daughters are given to another people, and your eyes look and fail for them all day long, and your hand powerless. A people whom you have not known eat the fruit of your land and all your labors, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed all the days. And you shall be maddened because of the sight which your eyes see. Yah strikes you in the knees and on the legs with evil boils of which you are unable to be healed, and from the sole of your foot to the top of your head. Yah brings you and the sovereign whom you set over you to a nation, which neither you nor your fathers have known, 
and there you shall serve other mighty ones wood and stone. Thus you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a mockery among all the peoples to which Yah drives you. You take much seed out into the field, but gather little in, for the locust consumes it. You plant vineyards and shall labor, but you neither drink of the wine nor gather, for the worm eats it. You have olive trees in all your border, but do not anoint with oil, for your, your olives drop off. You bring forth sons and daughters, but they are not with you, for they go into captivity. Locusts possess all your trees and the fruit of your ground. The sojourner who is among you rises higher and higher above you, but you come down lower and lower. He lends to you, but you do not lend to him. He is the head, and you are the tail. And all these curses shall come upon you, and they shall pursue and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you, the, you did not obey the voice of Yah your Elohim to guard his commands and his laws which he commanded you. And they shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder and on your seed forever, because you did not serve Yah your Elohim with joy and gladness in the heart for all the plenty. You shall serve your enemies whom Yah sends against you in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in need of all. And he shall put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. And Yah shall bring a nation against you from afar, from the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you shall not understand, a fierce-looking nation, which shall show no regard for the elderly, nor show favor to the young. And they shall eat the fruit of your livestock and the fruit of your land until you are destroyed. They leave you no grain, nor new wine, nor oil, nor the increase of your cattle, nor the offspring of your flocks, until they have destroyed you. And they shall besiege you at all your gates, until your high and fenced walls, in which you are trusting, come down in all your land. And they shall besiege you at all your gates, in all your land, which shall your Elohim has given you. And you shall eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and your daughters, whom Yah your Elohim has given you, in the siege and distress in which your enemies distress you. The man among you who is tender and who is very delicate, his eye is evil against his brother, against the wife of his bosom, and against the rest of his children whom he leaves behind, against giving any of them the flesh of his children that he eats, because it is all that has been left to him in the siege and distress with which your enemy distresses you in all your gates. The tender and the delicate woman among you, who has not tried to set the sole of her foot on the ground because of her delicateness and tenderness, her eye is evil against the husband of her bosom, and against her son, and against her daughter, and against her seed which comes out from between her feet, and her children whom she bears, for she eats them in secret for lack of all, in the siege and distress with which your enemy distresses you in all your gates. If you do not guard to do all the words of this Torah that are written in this book, to fear the esteemed and awesome name, Yah your Elohim, then Yah will bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues, great and lasting plagues, and grievous and lasting sicknesses, and he shall bring back on you all the diseases of Mitzrayim, of which you were afraid, and they shall cling to you. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this Torah, Yah does bring upon you until you are destroyed. And you shall be left with few men, although you have become as numerous as the stars of the heavens, because you did not obey the voice of Yah your Elohim. And it shall be that as Yah rejoice over you to do good, to do you good, and increase you, so Yah does rejoice over you to destroy you and lay you waste, and you shall be plucked from the land which you go to possess. And Yah shall scatter you among all peoples, from one end of the earth to the other. And there you shall serve other mighty ones, which neither you nor your fathers have known, wood and stone. And among those nations you are to find no rest, nor have a resting place for the sole of your foot. But there Yah shall give you a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of being. And your life shall be hanging in suspense before you, and you shall fear night and day, and not be certain of your life. In the morning you say, Oh, that it were evening. In that evening you say, Oh, that it were morning, because of the fear of your heart with which you fear, and because of the sight which your eyes see. And Yah shall bring you back to Mitzrayim in ships, by way of which I said to you, You are never to see it again, and there you shall be sold to your enemies as male and female slaves.
but no one to buy.